everything, you know, was real easy for us uh, early in our relationship. Uh, we both got decent jobs, uh, had a beautiful wedding, and uh, natural progression was like, okay, let's try and have a kid, you know, and figured that would go just as easy. That's when our turbulence started. I got laid off here in the area with a reduction in force, uh, working in defense, and immediately after that, uh, Emily miscarried. It was tough. We just felt like we couldn't catch a break. Just feeling like, man, this could like never work. Like we could just not have a family. Yeah, we got to that point quite a bit. Hey, babe. There's two definite lines on it. <laughs> yeah. That's right, right? Definitely when we found out this twin twins was like, like probably the best, one of the best days of my life for sure. Thinking your body can't do something and then to find out you're carrying two lives is pretty unreal. It's two boys. I knew it was going to be two boys. <laughs> So the babies were born at 31 weeks and 6 days. When they first were born, they weren't able to breathe on their own, so they were on oxygen. They were in their little incubators. They weren't able to regulate their temperature. You go to the hospital, you do all that work, and we've worked extra hard for the whole process, so um, going through all that and then not being able to bring them home is definitely tough. I just hope that our story inspires others and that other people that are struggling, not just with infertility, but even babies that are born preterm, you know, in a high-risk pregnancy, like the whole, the whole journey has been kind of a scary one. It's amazing what doctors can do now. It's really cool that we've been with EVMS the whole time and um, that they took such great care of us. I don't know what we'll do without them now. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah.